Hi guys, we're back with It's Cold and Miserable. I don't know how long I'm gonna last. Uh, Angie Marie's coming over this afternoon though. Oh, she'll be all bundled up for the cold. She has all kinds of miracles. She'll have her Uggs on, wait and see. And then Maverick will get them all dirty. And she'll say she doesn't care. Um, so you can see where I'm starting now. This dog is looking for a magic formula. And I think, you know, there is a magic formula. You, you know, if they don't know the magic formula exists, they're not going to look for it. I think that's what you say. Maybe that's how I am, too. There's a magic formula to be my friend. You like dogs. You like sushi. You like Lucero. No. You love all of those things passionately because I don't have time in life, honestly, for people that just like things. Mark, you better start. If you're there, Mark, you better start loving things. I'm just going to tell you, they chewed my cum and was my problem here, so I don't have a good shot. Ay, ay, ay. It's still bike week, and that's why Clue's still here, because Brack is a deputy, and during bike week, it's a nightmare in this town. There's, like, there's half a million extra people come to town, and they're all riding Harleys, and they're all drinking various forms of whiskey. All right, so what I've got is my sound box. I've got my thing on zero, and I'm just... Oops. Using my page. And if you said, what are you doing? Uh, I'm doing it to make it seem like I'm faster than I am. Because if you said, well, when they do, when you, you know, use a pinch collar and stuff, they say do it real fast. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, please don't tell me this box is dead. No way. Well, bad news, the box is dead. Let me go, I can charge the box. I did charge the collar. I can do it for the next dog. Let me just grab the collar. Okay, I'm But, you know, I think you've got to get the platform, and I think, you know, that's a real good gauge. If this thing is going everywhere but on the platform, you know, you've got to reassess. You know, if it's getting up there as a default, you know, and they seem to do it, you know, I didn't, I didn't really think they would either. Not like the way they show it on that climb commercial, you know, but I think... You know, unless, honestly, if you've been working with one for a while and it isn't, it isn't that interested in getting over there, you've done something wrong. Because if you said how much nick has this dog had, not much. And if you said how much it would, is it going to need some. And if you said when, oh, when it takes off, yay! Uh, and if you said what did that win me, big points, because it didn't look like I was looking, but I saw it. Rex, I kind of want a flying Rottweiler. Well, but I do! You know, if they're not... Hey. I wonder what would happen, Mike, if I started jumping, too. They might jump, too. Anyway, oh, I sent my uh, another video to Rumble of Thimble, and they think they're going to release it. It doesn't take much. Throw a, a pair of bunny ears on a pig and put it in front of a guitar. <laughs> That's all it takes, people. All right, so I don't even have my collar, and this is what I've got. And this is what, uh, Jeremy, I don't know if you're there. I don't know why. And even Fernando, even Fernando, they all say, what should I get this collar? And, and this has happened to me for years. Every single one of them says the Doctrine 1900. It's the worst collar ever. So then he said, and I, so I say, no, don't get that one. And, uh, and then some other one. And then Jeremy said, what about uh, the ARC? I'm like, oh, God, no, that's actually worse than the other one. 
But what this is, is them finally listening to me after 18 years. I kept saying, make the pager stronger, make the pager stronger. Getting madder and madder. So they finally did it. And now they call this their high performance pager. So it is the audibility. I understand. This is what I thought of, Mike. This is what happens when I can't sleep. Shoe bottom keeps me up all night. I thought about it. The reason the audibility works is because it is augmenting your voice in the sense that it's all going to the same place. The sound of your voice and the sound of that collar and the muscle memory and all that. The synergy of all that. Which I, if you said that doesn't explain the deaf ones, I'd say. Oh, I know. <laughs> I don't know anything. <laughs> I just thought about that though, because if you've got, if you've got, yay! If you've got the audit, audit, you know, the audio here, the audio from the handler, so now those are kind of synced up. It almost becomes the same thing. And then you've got the muscle memory too. It's just, it's a form of synergy. Either that or I'm crazy. Remember, this is the one very, yay, 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 yay. You, it's not, you know, I think maybe You've got to do that. It's they're always going to be a pain. Yay! All right. So remember, I'm only pushing or pulling. I don't like the way that strap is sticking out, but I'm pushing or pulling with the collar, and I'm doing it in conjunction with something. That's why it's working. Yay! So I'm going to push her this way. Yay! Push. I am. I'm, I'm keeping time with this hand. And if you said, what, do, what are you doing wrong? I've got the box on the wrong side. And it, it is... It matters more on some dogs than others. I'll tell you that. I'm not really sure how to say it, but as a... You see her jimmy with my hands. She jimmied with my hands. And if you said just for a second, then absolutely. Not even that long. All right, so now my box is on this side, which is just, and I think you do. Again, you have to have some physics in your head. Yay! You know, where does this particular dog, that other dog kind of turns its head. So this one doesn't seem to be as deal. All right, I'm going to spin her, so this hand is going to... Yeah, that's all you're doing. You're choreographing two basic turns. I can turn it this way. I can turn it this way. I can back it up. I can move it forward. I can back it up. You know, that's, that's all you're thinking. And if you said, well, what, where can you go? String it all together. String it all together. You know, so these things have got a lot of bounce to them. They're, you know, they're built to be, you know, a takedown dog. You know, you said, what did the Germans breed them for? I don't think they were breeding them for lap dogs. You know, and there's two breeds responsible for the lion's share of fatal dog attacks. And this is one of them. This is one of them. So they're very, very powerful. If you, you know... I've never cranked on this. I don't have the strength to crank on these dogs. You know, but I'm saying, well, what I want, though, is to be able to move the dog without physically pulling on it. Then uh, there's my solution. All right, look. And so from wherever it is, I want to move her back this way, heel. And if you said you didn't move, I did move. I did move. I, mo I, just, I just didn't move my feet. And people need to practice that, too. If you say, you know, tell them to heal, they start jimmying their feet around. You know, they don't understand heel as a location. So from here, I'm going to... I'm applying movement. I, you know, I think you need to practice standing there. And I don't, maybe I should do get like a little workout DVD for dog training. And push your remote and hands in and twist and turn. <laughs> It's like she's losing it. All right, watch. 
So I want it back over beside me. I'm, you know, again, I'm not going to just stand there. I'm going to imply. And she was not, uh, she was very hesitant to get on the platform at first. So I still kind of keep the, let me see if I can get it. You know, but if she said she's not moving with you, she, she's making it her mission to move with me and saying that this is helping her heal. You know, but right here, I want that dog's head right there. Boom. Boom. You can hear the pager listen. Click, 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 click. You know, that's, it's not freaking the dog out. But I understand that, that these people are not taking enough action in the beginning. Their methodology of just standing there, it's honestly painful. It's painful to stand there. Watch them. Oh, that's why I had such a bad reaction to that video. To see somebody standing there doing that, knowing it's, it's almost like, you know, your fear is, you know, is this thing going to jump or what's going to happen? All right, so hang on. You know, and it wouldn't take much to get a flying return. said, what are you looking at? It's spine. You know, I'm looking at the spine and I'm lining up the spine. And that's what you've got to, that's what you've got to look at. You're not really looking at. That's really, I mean, you just, you've got to look at the spine. I, I don't know how else to say it other than when you're getting it there, even there, I'm looking at how does this thing move? Heal. I got her to go sideways a little bit. You know, she'll go any direction. You know, but I think honestly that pager becomes your voice. And so when you add your voice to it, you're getting Rex going to be another one saying, you don't, you're not using any words. I, I'm realizing where you don't really even have to. All right, let me get my dumbbells. If it's nice and fluid, and I've got a great big, super fast recall on the dog, so, you know, you're kind of fitting all that in. All right, look, and remember, this was the one, this one was maybe even harder than the Bull Terrier to... Uh, get the retrieving. But I do like to have that footstool just as a. You need everything you can get. When I see people. When I see people there and there's just in a field or something. Yeah, God. Um, props are fun. Props make things more fun. Keeping it real flat. Yay! Okay, yay, yay. Yay. Again, nothing about me is going towards the dog. They don't run towards things that are, let's just put it this way, unless you're uh, Dudley Moore in that movie 10, you're not running towards another individual, generally speaking. That's not the dynamic. One's running, one's chasing. That's the dynamic. All right, let's see if she'll get the basket. There's my guarding behavior. And, and the music stopped. And that's what you've got to think of. The music stopped as soon as... When the basket drops, the music stops. But I think, you know, and then that's your end of your sequence right there. You're kind of shoveling them all back in there. And then, you know, it doesn't lend to the, you know, trying to get them away and stuff afterwards. Because you've really kind of already established. I think that's even a good thing 
to teach kids. It's the opposite of playing tug of war, and it's it works with any of them, you know. If the majority of dogs I have, except for she bought them, if a dog has something and it goes like this, they leave them alone. You know, they you know they see that. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna try to tough it out. The big guys in Canada are saying, "My God, we'd be down there in Bermuda shorts and flip flops." Well, for me, it's cold. Anyway, my guy, I hope you like the way this dog turned out. And I was very careful in the beginning because I already knew it had gotten a lot of correction for chewing the shoes and stuff. And I don't think, I mean, I don't believe I've used a nickel on it, but if you said, when is it going to need it? It's got a predilection for small dogs, and I already told Breck that. And if you said, when is it going to go after the small dog? I don't know, but when it does, it's going to go real fast. You know, it's just, it's got a bouncy way of moving. Okay. It's not, it's going to, let's just put it this way. The increments it's moving in are big. You know, it's not moving in very small increments. It's, so you got to kind of compensate for that. But it's a really, really nice dog. It's actually out of two champions. And I think trainers need to understand. I mean, you do have to get access to good dogs if you want to get better. I, mean, I know that there's people that say that's off, but you should just all train all the rescue dogs. And you can't get better that way. I, you can't. Unless you get talented dogs, you can't get better. I, I don't know how else to say it. You know, if you're just stuck with a bunch of potatoes, as they say, it's going to be hard to get better. So you've got to find ways to have access to well-bred dogs. You, I mean, you've got to get to that point in your career because you'll become breed blind if you just train. You know, you won't understand as much about tractability, I don't think. So anyway, I'm going to go uh, drink hot chocolate because it's only 68 out. I'll be right back.